Hey, it's Mr. Johns. Welcome back to American Truck Simulator and Mr. Johns Trucking Agency. Uh, we are driving another quick job trying to earn money to buy uh, my first truck. So I could take a loan out. I just don't want to be in debt to uh, the, the bank. Uh, I am in Grangeville, so my last job ended in Grangeville. So I was excited to see that I'm actually still in Grangeville. So it knows where you where you leave off. Uh, each each job, which makes total sense. And so I'm in Grangeville and I'm taking a load of dynamite from this, uh, it looks like this uh, gravel uh, company and taking it all the way up north to Sandpoint, which is very far north uh, in the Idaho Panhandle near Canada. And with the compressed time, this won't take so long. But we're still going to speed up some of the video so we're not just driving real time. So here we are in Grangeville coming up to this T intersection and still getting used to the controls and looking left, right, left and making sure the road is clear. I do like having the two outside mirrors um, visible on screen, as you can see here. I think that's a way that I'm going to I'm going to keep um, keep that <clears throat> just help the help being able to see behind you. Um, I also like to bounce back and forth between cockpit view and this external view. Um, I think that the cockpit, although I'm having problems with the joystick creeping, as you can see right there, it just goes lower right. It just starts to move. So um, this joystick is on its last, last legs. So outside view like this is great for turning and being able to make sure you don't take out signs and cars uh, and do your best to stay in your lane definitely helps you appreciate what truckers have to go through. These things barely fit on the road. They're massive. <clears throat> so and then I switch back to uh, cockpit view for when I'm driving, but that, that creep, the joystick creep is going to drive me crazy. So might have to drive like this for a little while today. So we're heading north um, in Idaho, Highway 55, heading all the way up north. Crossing a river, let's just take a look at the beautiful sun off the off the water in the morning as the sun is coming up. <clears throat> it is 9.30 a.m. a Tuesday, and I have 200 miles to drive, three hours and 55 minutes of real time. So here we're going to, by the way, I said that wrong, not Highway 55, this is 95, so 55 goes from Boise up to uh, New Meadows and 95 meets it there and then 95 continues north so we'll be we'll be on uh highway 95 we'll go ahead and just stop here um in the way station because it gave me a little a little warning that i needed to so we'll follow the rules there um also i noticed my blinkers are not working anymore when i'm in in cockpit view so another uh hint that the joystick is dying uh, it work, Blinkers work when I'm in the outside view, but not in the inside view. That is just weird. So um, this is uh, Lewiston Hill. It's quite a climb. And it drops um, off of the uh, Camas Prairie, the Palouse area, down to um, the river and the Lewiston, uh, the town of Lewiston and its factories. Sounds like a race car with the, the, <laughs> the accelerated speed, which is kind of funny. So, um, and you get a chance to kind of see what the what the route looks like. It looks real. I mean, graphics are good. Um, and viewing it from this perspective, it kind of feels like you are driving uh, north on 95. And as I drive, I'm looking for anything I recognize. That sign right there, Cord Lane, telling us it's about 30 miles away. Um, I love how accurate those signs are and that you actually recognize <clears throat> locations and signs and parts of the road um, and some buildings in this game. So a, a level of realism that makes the game way more fun. 
here I'm just loving this barn um, on the left, and I remember seeing that barn. I'm, I'm losing my, I'm off the, out of my lane. I'm so excited to see that barn. I love barns, and I was trying to take a screenshot and took my hands off the, off the wheel to do that, which shouldn't text and drive people. So there's the lesson there. So, um, and this will take us right around the corner into, again, it's compressed. Um, distance, but this is Court Lane. You start seeing the the lake. There's a sailboat out there, and uh, like a lot of places in Idaho, has gotten a lot of attention recently, and a lot of uh, new citizens, new people moving in. And um, Court Lane's beautiful. Now it's way up north, so the weather is a little bit rough in the winter, but in the summertime, this place is a absolute dream. So huge lake uh, for, uh, here we go, Cord Lane is discovered. Uh, so the lake is just great for boating and water skiing, and kayaking, etc. So now we're just looking for drop-off point for the dynamite. I guess a reminder that I shouldn't get in a crash since I'm loaded with dynamite. And I'm following that uh, right above my head in the corner of the uh, screen, just following that the red pathway. <coughs> and if you're wondering why I'm not talking live while I'm driving, I played this early in the morning and the family was asleep, so I don't like to do my voice um, when people are sleeping. Um, so that's why. That's the only reason why I'm doing voiceover at this point. And the Mr. Johns that's playing the game is just focused on the game. That's a cool bridge off to the side. That looks like it's a walking path now. And we are um, getting really close to Sandpoint right here. And as a matter of fact, I think uh, that is... Ooh, I almost missed that turnoff. I was distracted by the train on the right. I like trains as well. So, And here I realized, oh, there's a viewpoint. But um, I'm going to have to <laughs> cut over to just trigger this. So this is like a cinematic viewpoint that gives you, uh, and, and it's an achievement, so I, I needed to hit that. And it gives you like a cinematic of the area. This is just kind of a sandpoint thing. So I watched a little bit of it, then like, yeah, no, I don't need to see more. Uh, just wanted to trigger that. So a four-way stop, nope, not a four-way stop, just a stop sign and downtown sandpoint. Red light. go right on a red but the light turned green and then turning left here I hate to block that lane but I should have pulled over a little bit a little bit further uh, taking this corner looks like we're getting pretty close to our destination cool roundabout right here that's a great example of a roundabout and take a left at this intersection and then a right into um, this company's lot so I trigger the green flag which it says that I'm here and then I have the option of doing an easy medium or difficult parking and I'm gonna try to do the difficult ones every time and I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to park so I, I got distracted here I'm thinking I see this green green flag so I pull up thinking that's it and then I realize well it says do not enter so I'm going the wrong way for one so <laughs> then I go around this way thinking, all right, this isn't that difficult at all. I'll just slide right in here and stop. Ding, ding, ding. And it weighs me, but it's not the end of the job. Then I realize that's not where I'm supposed to leave the trailer. Such a rookie. So still learning the game. I'm supposed to go to the red flag and park the trailer. So looking at the screen, I realize... Um, I can still choose how difficult, but I'm going to go for this one, and it's right there. So what you're looking for are um, some white like white rectangles that show you where the trailer should be and where the cab of the truck should be. And it's pretty tight here, but I, I, I thought I could do it, um, and I should have been able to do it, but my cab is not um, touching the... The square, and I don't really didn't at this point didn't know how accurate I needed to be. I assumed like 100% accurate, 
So I'm trying to go straight, trying to back this thing in and, and, and leave the cab in that first rectangle. So you can see there's a big rectangle for the trailer and a small rectangle for the cab. Um, so I'm just trying to uh, get better at, at parking. So as I am thinking one more turn here, one more time to kind of straighten it out and then back in, I should get it. But what I notice is right here, it turns green. I'm like, oh, my tires are in this. That's all you need is your tires in those rectangles and it counts. And so I got extra extra points for that d difficult parking. And uh, also one more skill point it allows you to choose which category you would like that skill point to go in. Um, fuel economy already has one and my hazardous cargo has one. So uh, I don't think it matters. So... I'm just going to pick one. And I think I'm going to go with just in time delivery. <clears throat> so I think this, uh, that one right here, click and then apply it. So that'll just give me uh, an opportunity to make my deliveries uh, on time easier. So, and uh, that's it for this delivery. Thanks for joining me. I'll catch you next time. For now, Mr. Johns is out.